Okay. This, we'll start over here. This is the scrotum. It's the outside covering of the testis. Then this connective sheath right here is the spermatic cord. The spermatic, sperm, spermatic cord contains the testicular artery, testicular vein, which is in a plexus form, and that's to help keep the temperature cooler in the testicle. It also has the vas deferens, plus it's got nerves and it has lymphatic um, vessels as well. The vas deferens comes off of the epididymis, which is E P I D. I D Y M I S epididymis, and let's see. That's the spermatic cord. The spermatic cord goes through the external opening of the inguinal canal, and it comes out the internal opening of the inguinal canal. And you can see that vas deferens here goes around. I'm going to turn this around. And I'm going to put this back in here. It's going to be a sloppy video. Okay, so my vas deferens came around here. As it gets to the fatter part, that's called the impula. This is the seminal vesicle. These both empty into the ejaculatory, ejaculatory duct, which is located inside the prostate. This, of course, is the bladder. This is my prosthe uh, prosthetic urethra. Back in there. Oh, yes, and this, of course, is your ureter going up to the uh, kidneys from the bladder here. All right, let's move this around again. The muscle surrounding the, the muscle inside the spermatic cord surrounding the, testi the testis is called the cremaster muscle. And let's see, when you actually take a cross section of the penis, yes, I'm going to do the cross section first. When you do the cross section of the penis, the um, two eyes here are the cor corpus cavernosus, and the mouth is the corpus spongiosus, and it has, of course, the urethra running through it. So it looks like a smiley face, two eyes and a mouth. Okay, now when you open your penis and get a cross, little cross section of it, oh, sorry. you can see now these two corpus cavernosus and then of course your corpus spongiosus with that urethra growing through it. Now I'm going to put half the penis back. We know that the urethra going through the prostate was the prosthetic urethra. And then let's get half of this off. Or is open this girl, this guy up, not a girl. All right, so that's my prosthetic urethra, and this is my membranous urethra, and the one in the base of the penis is the spongy urethra. Spongy urethra, and then in the actual uh, glands penis, it is the penile urethra, which leads me to. Oh, yes, the bulbal bun. Okay, we can't forget that we also have the penis that's falling apart. Okay. It falls apart every time. All right, then, let's look at this side. This little guy right in here is the bulbo... <coughs> Jessica. This little guy right in here is the... Bulbo urethral gland. Bulbo urethral gland. Bulbo urethral gland or cow's gland. Bulbo urethral gland or cowper's gland, which you would capitalize the C. Hey, let us know what number 35 is, the blue one up there. Number 35 is the um, synthesis, the pubic synthesis. Okay. And then if your penis is intact and not cut in half here, this part right here is the gland's penis. And this is a circumcised male, you know, because the glands, his ex, glands piece is exposed. Yeah, because the, it doesn't have the prepuce. That's it. We're good.